Say hello, YouTube. Hey guys, so a lot of you have been asking me about making a channel. Wow, that's huge, right, Keasia? Mm -hmm. That is really big. So I have been pondering in my mind, what would I make a YouTube channel about? Would I yeah. make it about my life, which is crazy and chaotic on an everyday basis? Would I make it a funny YouTube channel? Like, what exactly would I make a YouTube channel about? So, seeing as how most of the subscribers came from Fraternity Court, shout out to Fraternity Court, um, I'm like, huh, maybe I'll make the first video um, based on all of the comments and the feedback that we got from the video um, that aired concerning Fraternity Court, where Keasia was the star. You're the star, right? Mm -hmm. High five. You're a star. You're a superstar. So, yeah, India, get out of me, cat. That's India. That's my 13-year-old. Say, hey, India. I said hi away. Okay. Anyway, so I figured out just give you guys an update to my I update. Could block her. You can block her good. Kia just said she's going to block India. But I figured that I would give you guys an update to my update. To the update. Because I know that I'm constantly um, commenting on the thread in the fraternity court video. Um, so, here goes. This is Keasia. Fast forward from, well, we're going to back up a little bit. Keasia was a baby when Fraternity Court aired. Um, you guys all know the results, uh, how they came out. But, fast forward for it, Keasia's five. And guess who Keasia gets to hang out with on a daily basis? Keasia, whose house do you hang out at? Yours. Yours. Because you're my baby, right? Mm -hmm. And because I love you? Mm -hmm. And is anything going to ever change that love that I have for you? And Keasia has a surprise. Keasia, what do you have? Now, do you have a little sister or a little brother? A little brother and a little sister. You got your sister. AJ is a girl, not a boy and a girl. She's a girl. Yeah, so, I was talking about my... AJ got a girl and her is a girl. My brother is a boy. Oh, LJ. You're talking about LJ. So, as you guys know, me and Mr. Jackson got a divorce. Woohoo! <laughs> so we got a divorce and he moved on I moved on um, he and Miss Lipscomb had another little baby named Andrea who is Keisha's little sister are you a good little si big sister mm -hmm. so they have a baby who is three who also lives at my house right they just live at my house too mm -hmm. so surprise I have uh, they both live with me and they're very amazing little girls. Um, Mr. Jackson has since had another little baby who is a little boy who just turned two. And his name is Lawrence. Um, like his dad. I think he's the third Lawrence. He's like Lawrence the third or fourth. I don't know. And he is my dad. He both of us dads. Yes, he is both of their dads is what she said. So, I wanted to address. There was a comment today that kind of sparked me to do the video because I kept, like I said, there was a lot of indecisiveness as to what would I do a video about? Um, what would I make a YouTube channel or page about? Like, there were so many questions. I got a comment today um, and I wouldn't say that it was a negative comment, but it was a crucial, like a, a critical comment. And basically the young lady said to me, um, that I was classless and she said that um, it, it it was my husband's That's responsibility That's oh I'm sure she did my husband's responsibility to extend faithfulness to me well I'm just going to address this and I, I'll address it once hold on one second India you and Keasia go in please Okay. go to India Key well, I thought we couldn't go in because we were India go in so, sorry guys, give me one second. Hold her hand, India. So, yeah, the young lady said that I was classless. The young lady said that your husband did, the, the female had the right to be Miss Lipscomb, had the right to pursue my husband because she felt as though he had fathered her child. And that I embarrassed myself. And y'all, I had to ponder over that thing. 
And I thought about it for a while and I had to sit back and think how to respond to this young lady. Because you know, sometimes I don't care how much you've grown or how much you've moved past the situation. When you feel as though someone is assassinating your character, you know, our first instinct is to react or our rebuttal very defen defensively. And for me, it I had to step back off of the situation. So, again, this will, this is kind of serving as an update to the update, but this kind of is what prompted me to start my channel, okay? I went through a lot with that situation, and I also learned a lot. I grew in so many ways, ways that I thought I was already grown. You understand what I'm saying? So, when I read that comment, actually, I sat back and laughed for a few minutes after I thought about it. Because here's the thing, never ever is it okay to pursue a married man it's one thing not to know if the person is married okay but once it's confirmed to you that that person is married or even if they're in a committed relationship it's not for you to decide that you're going to continue to pursue especially a married man not just so much as a committed relationship a married man because what happens is one you destroy a marriage whether it's happy or unhappy based on the way you perceive the dynamics of the marriage, right? That's number one. Number two, it reflects on you and it says a lot about how you view yourself and the amount of respect and esteem that you have for yourself. For me, that situation in its entirety put me in a very bad place. That situation in its entirety, bad situations tend to bring out the worst in people, right? And so for me, that situation, it did a couple of things. Yes, it brought, brought out the worst in me, but it also helped me to realize how resilient I was. It also helped me to realize how much stronger I am than I thought I could ever be. So at this point, as of today, today's day is the 17th day of July. The time right now is about 10.55 a.m. I am happy to say, because I saw a lot of you were asking, did you move on? Yes, I have moved on. Yes, I am happy. Um, Mr. Jackson and I, our baby will be four on the 22nd. So the baby that I was pregnant with on fraternity court will be four, July 22nd. I will try and post another video showing all the children. The children are all doing amazing. They're all happy and healthy. Um... Yes, we all parent the children. Um, however, Kiasia, again, which was the baby that you all got to see on fraternity court that was not uh, Lawrence's daughter, her and her little sister, who's Andrea, who is the, um, who is the biological child between Mr. Jackson and Miss Lipscomb, who is three, um, both reside with me. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I think they are both very amazing little girls. They add a little bit of spice to my life. Who child? Sassy is what they are. Um, and they keep life interesting. I've had people to say, if I were you, I wouldn't have done that. But I will say this to those people, those naysayers, right? As you do unto the least of God's children, you have also done unto our Father, which is in heaven, right? I do not regret my decision on any level allowing them to come and live with me because I just kind of feel like why not um I can offer them stability I can offer them love and I actually I prefer to do that Keisha's about to go to kindergarten and we are looking forward to her new journey so there are so many dynamics and there are so many moving parts past what you guys saw on fraternity court so and I appreciate all of the comment I appreciate all of the feedback whether it's positive or negative some of the comments that were not more favorable for me were towards me what they did was they caused me to reflect on some things that I still needed to deal with that I still need to face and that I still needed to grow past so again I appreciate all the comments I appreciate all the feedback I appreciate all the encouragement all of the support um yeah man and I just I wish all of you guys peace and blessings this is one of many videos I am going to, as I am led, try to keep this channel updated, try and keep you guys updated. But I'm still trying to think, 
you know, not just necessarily a Kiasia update to Fraternity Court saga um, type channel. You guys give me some feedback on what you think my channel should be about. Um, what you, you know, different areas that I could critique the channel to make it more appealing to other people. To draw new subscribers. Peace and blessings to you all. I hope you all have a very marvelous day. Again, thank you for your feedback and your comments. And yeah, I just appreciate you all. Have a very blessed day.